Welcome to our video on top attractions in Toronto. Toronto is the largest city in Canada and also one of the most diverse. It's home to a dynamic mix of tourist attractions and memorable places to visit, from museums and galleries to the world-famous CN Tower. And just a short drive away is Niagara Falls. It has become one of the world's top travel destinations, not only for thrill-seeking adventurers, but also for nature lovers looking for something different. It had something for everyone. Throughout, this video will take you on a journey of most iconic and must-visit attractions of Toronto. If you are visiting Toronto in winter, head indoors to explore the extensive path network of underground walkways that connect shopping, entertainment, and attractions. In summer, wander along the beautiful waterfront and enjoy Toronto's best beaches and parks. For a complete look at how to spend your time and find interesting places to visit, watch our video of top tourist attractions in Toronto. Number 1. Nathan Phillips Square Dominating the spacious Nathan Phillips Square with its bronze sculpture, The Archer, by Henry Moore, is the still highly acclaimed new city hall. It was designed by the gifted Finnish architect Viljo Ravel and built in 1965. City Hall consists of two arc-shaped high-rise blocks, 20 and 27 stories high respectively, wrapped around a lower central building topped by a flattened cupola. In the square in front of City Hall is a man-made pond, which becomes a popular skating rink in winter and is where the often photographed Toronto sign is located. This is a beautiful area to visit in December, particularly at night, when it's decorated for the Christmas holidays. Number 2. Castle Loma Standing in beautifully kept grounds, Casa Loma is an extraordinary building somewhat reminiscent of a medieval castle. It was originally constructed in 1914 for Sir Henry Pallat, an eccentric Canadian multimillionaire who was among the first to recognize and exploit the money-making potential of Niagara Falls. With close to 100 rooms, including three dozen bathrooms, the house is now a museum. Visitors can take a look back in time to a period of European elegance and splendor. Canada's foremost castle is complete with decorated suites, secret passages, an 800-foot tunnel, towers, stables, and five acres of estate gardens. Number 3. Royal Ontario Museum the Royal Ontario Museum, known as the ROM, is one of Canada's premier museums and one of the top tourist attractions in Ontario, with an international reputation for excellence. It houses an outstanding collection, which covers natural history, art, and culture from a great variety of periods from all over the world. It is also well known for featuring exhibitions from across the globe. A controversial expansion in 2007 saw the addition of the Michael Lee Chin Crystal, a modern wing featuring glass and sharp angles, added on to a very traditional older building. It's now one of Toronto's most recognizable buildings. Number 4. Ripley's Aquarium One of Toronto's newest top attractions is the Ripley's Aquarium of Canada near the base of the CN Tower. This fabulous facility displays all kinds of marine life and is one of the most popular things to do in Toronto for families. The most impressive feature is the huge underwater tunnel with a moving sidewalk. You can watch the ocean world go by all around you as sharks glide past and sawfish linger on the tunnel roof above. This is a truly serene experience for all ages. Another unexpected highlight is the jellyfish display, accented with creative lighting. Further on, touch tanks with stingrays and small sharks allow for a hands-on experience. And for the engineering-minded, the building's open concept also allows for a look at the life support system and filtration equipment operating the facility. Number 5. Eaton Centre The huge CF Toronto Eaton Centre Mall is located at the north end of the Central Business District, with its own subway station. This ultra-modern shopping complex extends over several blocks and is continually being renovated and enlarged. Strangers can quite easily lose their way in the bewildering maze of department stores, specialty shops, boutiques, restaurants, cafeterias, and snack bars, which crowd the different levels above and below ground. Eaton Center is connected to the Hudson Bay Store via a skywalk 
and is also a stop on Toronto's subway system. Number 6. CN Tower Toronto's famous landmark, the 553-metre CN Tower, is one of Ontario's must-see attractions and also the most impossible to miss. Towering above the downtown, this Canadian icon can be seen from almost everywhere in the city. The CN Tower, built between 1972 and 1976, was once the tallest freestanding structure in the world, but has long since been surpassed. The highest viewing area on the CN Tower is from the Sky Pod at 447 meters above the city, with views that on clear days extend to Niagara Falls and New York State. To get here requires taking two elevators. Below this, at the top of the main elevator, is the lookout level at 346 meters, with floor-to-ceiling windows and the new glass floor, which looks down to the original glass floor, one floor below, where the outdoor sky terrace is located. For those looking for a little more adventure, or perhaps a lot more adventure, there is the edge walk. This involves a hands-free walk on a 1.5-meter wide ledge around the outside edge of the main pod at an elevation of 365 meters. Participants are attached to a safety harness and rope. Located at 351 meters is the revolving 360 restaurant, featuring fine dining and some of the best views from a table anywhere in Toronto. Number 7. Dundas Square this neon-lit public space is fashioned after New York's Times Square and is a popular gathering spot for Torontonians. The area is complete with seating areas, dancing fountains, and a stage where concerts take place in the summer. Yonj Dundas Square is best enjoyed in the evening when the flashing neon signs come to life and the place develops a fun vibe. It is by far the best place in the city for people watching. The surrounding streets are packed with restaurants, many of which have patios. The square is accessible via Toronto's subway system, or you can park in the large underground parking lot directly beneath the square. Number 8. Rogers Centre Immediately adjacent to the CN Tower is Rogers Centre, a massive domed sports arena and home to the Toronto Blue Jays. The unique design includes a retractable roof, which slides back, allowing it to be opened in favorable weather. This megastructure was completed in 1989 and can accommodate tens of thousands of spectators and is also used as a venue for other major events, including concerts. The center also offers one-hour guided tours with a behind-the-scenes look at the facility. Attached to Rogers Center is the Toronto Marriott City Center Hotel with rooms that look out over the field. If you are in town to see a game, Staying here is an extremely convenient option and a bit of a unique experience. Number 9. Niagara Falls If you have never been, a quick day trip from Toronto to Niagara Falls is well worth the time. You can be standing on the edge of the falls in just over an hour. A tour to Niagara Falls from Toronto is an easy way to see the falls if you don't want to drive yourself. Tours offer hotel pickup and drop-off and include a Niagara cruise, which takes you up close to the wall of water tumbling that is the main Horseshoe Falls. Tours also stop at some of the key sites in the area, including Whirlpool Rapids, the Floral Clock, and the beautiful little town of Niagara-on-the-Lake. Getting from Toronto to Niagara Falls is easier than you might think, with several different options available. A train runs to Niagara Falls from Union Station in summer, from late June to the start of September as well as the Thanksgiving weekend in October. On weekends, you can even take your bike on the train and enjoy a bike ride along the Niagara Parkway. If you have enough time, you may also want to consider spending the night at Niagara Falls to explore the downtown area and see the falls lit up at night. Number 10. Toronto Islands If it's hot during your visit, and don't be fooled, it does get hot in Toronto in the summer. The Toronto Islands are home to some of Toronto's best peaches. They stretch for kilometers along the offshore islands, and the views from the beaches, along with the golden sands and crystal clear waters, may have you thinking you are in the Caribbean. That is, until you step into the chilly waters of Lake Ontario and are instantly transported back to reality. The Centreville Amusement Park is located on Centre Island, one of the Toronto Islands, 
and features a variety of children's rides.